chicken industry, it's sad to say, but it's almost like an organized crime syndicate. It's like a white collar crime afoot. I was a criminal investigator and I retired as chief of investigations at a police department and uh, I had a poultry farm that uh, we grew chickens in. The integrator is by far the most responsible in what the farmer receives and the quality of the chick. We started getting bad chickens. We were not the only ones, but I happened to be one of the people that raised a question as to why this is going on. From being a police investigator, it was just like building a case against, uh, whether it be theft or organized crime or whatever, I started making documentation. Then once I became a questioner is when I started getting targeted. I've lost everything. I have nothing to gain from coming forward about this. We're losing that house that we were planning on having her as a retirement home as well as the farm. So I, we don't have, or in essence, from having to file bankruptcy, we're not gonna be able to have anything. This industry is making billions of dollars and the farmer is not asking for billions of dollars. The farmer just wants to pay his bills, that's all. I have been contacted by many farmers saying that they wish they would be able to say something or do something, but they're too afraid because they see what's been done to me. And a lot of these farmers, you've got to understand, these are farmers that have generations of that land, their family farm is at risk. And if they don't do what that integrator says, then it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be lost. We depend on our legislatures to use common sense in making sure that we have protections enforced and put out to the American farmer. Mm -hmm.